Okay um, guys, so um, I am going to be putting out some grip strength tutorial videos, I guess, something that I've been promising to do for about five years. Uh, I wanted to start off by expanding on something that I was talking about in the last per Polaris prologue, or talking about different ways that I'd like to do pull-ups. And you've got the obvious stuff that pull-ups are a really versatile exercise and really good exercise for jiu-jitsu. Obviously there's a lot of pulling, it's like the best body weight pulling exercise you can do. And you can change the way, you know, your, your uh, different types of pull-ups. So obviously palms facing away from you, you're going to be hitting the lats and back a lot more, pulling from here. And then of course as a grappler, we want to be engaging the biceps quite a lot So while we're grappling. So palms facing you, you're going to be engaging the biceps a lot more when you're doing that sort of uh, that sort of position instead of the palms facing away. But I wanted to look more specifically about the different ways that you can change the grip to hit different things. The pull-ups are quite good because they do hit your grip as well, but you can change the way that you can uh, work your grip just by doing pull-ups, not even without any, adding anything on, but just by using one bar. So for example, let's say you want to train just the sort of support of the tip of your fingers. You can just, uh, you know, like um, uh, sleeve grips or spider guard and that sort of stuff. I can be hooking around the bar, not grabbing, leaving my thumb down here so the hands are quite wide open, I'm doing holds or pull-ups from this position here, and that's going to be working that supported strength just to the hooking end of the fingers. Then of course I can come around, I can be grabbing onto the bar here, this is going to be working sort of your lapel grips or your pistol grips here. Again, you can be hanging or you can be doing pull-ups from that position there. And then as you start to get more into nogi stuff where you're not going to be looking to crush as much with that, that closed hand support, you'll be looking a lot more to hook around under hooks, grabbing onto the neck and stuff like that. You want to be engaging the forearm a little bit more. So the thing is when you're grabbing with the thumb is it limits how far down you can grab. So you take your thumb out of the equation here and you can hook around the bar a lot more and engage more of your forearms to get that flex position. So by taking my hands and bringing them around the bar, I now get a lot more engagement in my forearms and here, I'm working that forearm and wrist position a lot more. So that's what, you know, personally as a nogi guy, that's the one that I like to use the most. The easiest way I find to use that is on a thick handle pull-up bar. So from here, you're gonna be able to take that hook position even further. You know, with, with, I like the thick handle parallel grips. I could grab underneath here with my thumb and I'd still be working sort of the, that closed hand support, a little bit wider than you would be on a normal bar, but still working that closed hand support strength here. But then I can also take my thumb out, hook my forearm all the way around, kind of sort of to, to 60, 70 degrees here. And now I'm really engaging my forearms in this position. So this is my favorite way to do pull-ups, because when you're grappling no gi, you're not grabbing on so much, you're hooking around a lot more and engaging the forearms. So this is how I like to do this, really get a lot of engagement there. And you can actually take this even further, and you can, you can do a no-handed pull-up. Not be confused with a no arm pull up. So you can hook around and instead of hooking here, you can close your hand and actually take it to 90 degrees and try and hold onto the bar just using that wrist position here. So fist closed, hooking around, trying to do pull ups and holds without even grabbing onto the bar. Obviously that gives a lot of back pressure against the wrist here. So you're really having to keep that position, that hook position nice and strong. So lots of different ways that you can do it all the way down from sort of just on the fingertips here, holding on like that. Coming around to hook in with the top of the hand, but not with the thumb. Then coming around to hook in with the, the thumb and the hand. Taking the thumb out, hooking around to here. And then even taking the hand out completely and coming to a 90 degree flex wrist position. So it's just an example of sort of the versatility. Obviously, if you look at the wall over there, I'm going to show you on the wall, all of these different things, you know, half of the things on that wall are stuff that are designed to change the different gripping positions that you can do pull-ups with, but without having any extra stuff. Just by changing the way that you're holding onto the bar, you can affect and work your grip in different ways.